Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Emacs RS2205 2300KV motors. Now although these are the same size as the MT2205s, they're supposed to provide a lot more thrust per motor. So that's simply the plan for today, no messing around, just check them out, give them a full power thrust test on two different props and see what happens. So quickly before these actually go on the bench, you can see that these come in clockwise and counterclockwise just like the rest of the Emacs motors. You can tell these are the RS simply by the red bottoms on them. And these were the ones that I was supposed to test a couple of weeks back when Emacs actually ended up sending me the MT versions. Now I've pulled, poked and prodded on these and the build quality does seem to be really high. As you can see they also look very smart. People are certainly going to notice these if you have them on your quad. So let's get to the thrust testing. Now I did try to do this a couple of weeks ago, however as you can see when I gave it full throttle we didn't get the power that we were expecting. So naturally I was very disappointed with only around six to 700 grams of thrust. But I didn't stop there, I had to figure out what the problem was. Now the last time I had problems trying to get maximum thrust out of motors, I realised that my 12 amp speed controllers just weren't enough, so I upped it to the 20 amps that you can see on here. And this was also the case again. I decided to up it up to 30 amps with the little b ESCs. And here they are. Now these are flashed to BL Heli 14.3 and the 20 amp afros that I did have on there were flashed to 14.2. But switching to new ESCs brought new problems. The main problem was that the analog servo throttle controller that comes on the thrust stand could not communicate with the ESCs fast enough. So one of the ways I got around this was to use my transmitter and receiver to give the ESC its commands. You could also do this through a flight controller but it's a little bit more clumsy. So let's do a full power test on a DAL 5x45. The Delt 5045 ball nose pulled 992 grams. That's actually the highest we've had on the bench to date, but lower than the 1024 grams that are predicted for this motor. Our maximum watts was 370.9, we managed to pull 23.24 amps, and that gave us an efficiency of 2.67 grams per watt. So as I said, we didn't reach our full potential, but there was enough power there for it to almost pull the thrust stand off the bench, as you can see here in this slow motion. So let's move on to our second propeller, which is the HQ5040 Tri-Blade. So the HQ5040 Tri-Prop managed a massive 1,033 grams, 371.4 watts, 24.15 amps, and an efficiency of 2.78, which is just slightly more than the 5045 that we just had on. So with 1,033 grams of thrust, we were actually 9 grams over spec. Say what? So looking at the results from today, it seems that the hype train about these motors is certainly real. And for the second time in that day, I managed to pull the highest thrust reading on my test bench. Now, people may argue that these motors are a little bit heavy at 30 plus grams, but when you're getting these kind of results, I really don't think it's that much of an issue. Especially when you consider you could almost be pulling an 8 to 1 power ratio. But on the other hand, with all this extra power, we're going to need a leap in battery technology to be able to make use of this constant amount of thrust. So in conclusion, these appear to be an excellent choice of motor and they come in at a very low price point too. So I have to say congratulations to Emacs, who aren't actually known for their high quality products, on producing such a nice motor. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.